Good morning all. This is Papna. Welcome to Machine Learning video. Today's our topic is Maximum Likelihood and Least Squared Error Hypothesis. According to the Bayesian analysis, under certain assumptions, any learning algorithm will minimize the squared error which is between the output hypothesis predictions and the training data and also outputs a maximum likelihood hypothesis. That means according to the Bayesian learning, Bayesian learning analysis, any algorithm, whatever may be the algorithm, it can minimize the squared error. Generally, what is the squared error? That is calculated between the output hypothesis predictions and the training data and also any learning algorithm can give a output as a maximum likelihood hypothesis only under the certain assumptions. So to understand this what are the assumptions are required and what are the net notations are requ required to get that maximum likelihood hypothesis with the minimum squared error. So we are considering even problem. The learner is le is learn learn or predict the one hypothesis which is the maximum likelihood of hypothesis. For that, here notations used is learner is represented with capital L. Instance space is represented with the capital X. Hypothesis space represented with the capital H. And specific real valued functions and real valued functions are represented with the capital R. Hypothesis output is we are getting the instance tends to the capital R. Capital R is a set of real numbers. Here we are using this one the learning algorithm or unknown target function for this is x tends to the capital R, R is a set of real numbers. Here we are considering the set of m training examples. Every training example is a pair of instance and the desired output. Here desired output, desired output of the training example will contains the noise and it also represented with the like this d of y is equal to f of x i plus e of y. Here f of x i is noise free target function and e i is a random variable representing with a noise. So here we are considering the set of training examples which are having the ordered pair of with the instances and the desired output. Desired output will contain the noise free target value as well as with the noise. E i is represented the a random variable which is representing with the noise and f of x is noise free target function and this generally whatever the to find out the target function we are choosing that any one of the training example which are randomly randomly drawn randomly drawn one and it also following the normal distribution with the zero mean also following the normal distribution with zero mean. If you apply the base learning type of algorithm then we will get the here maximum likelihood hypothesis with this assumptions and also we can call as a whatever the output we got that is a maximum a posterior hypothesis also and also here are one more assumptions considering is all the hypothesis are equal uh, equal probability all the hypothesis are having equal probability here we are giving the graphical notation for this so learning algorithm with the real valued function here f corresponds to the class solid line which is coming came from the normally distributed training examples normally distributed training example and dashed line corresponding to the linear function which is minimized with the sum of the squared errors that's why this dashed line hypothesis we can call as a maximum likelihood hypothesis and solid line is it represented the target value of noise free noise free noise free training error training example and here uh, what we can say 
linear to your target function f is represented with the solid line set of the noise driving examples target function and dashed line represents the which is having the least squared training error or we can say maximum likelihood hypothesis this maximum likelihood hypothesis will not necessarily be the identical to the correct hypothesis because here whenever you are considering the limited sample limited sample of noise training data then only we can call the dashed line representing the maximum likelihood hypothesis with the least squared training error and to get that one hypothesis to get the minimize the sum of the squared errors and also find the maximum likelihood hypothesis two basic concepts are required here that is the probability densities and normal distributions what is the probability density and how it, how it is represented is like this probability density function is represented with this formula this p of x not is approximately equal to the epsilon tends to 0 1 minus epsilon P uh, probability of x naught is less than or equals to x is less than or equals to x naught plus e. And what is this probability density function is p of x naught is uh, it is limited that epsilon is going to the zero. That means whatever the noise is there that we are tensing to the zero and whatever the probability we are getting that is this one minus epsilon times and x here randomly chosen instance are taken in between the interval of x naught and x naught plus noise data x naught plus noise data then we can call as it is a probability density function and one more component we need to consider second one is the random noise variable is generated by the normal probability distribution normal probability distribution we already know it is a bell shaped distribution and completely characterized by the mean and standard deviation and here we are considering the zero mean only so these are the components required and assumptions required to get with any type of learning algorithm to get the output as a maximally likelihood hypothesis and also it is represented like this maximum likelihood probability density with the probability density maximum likelihood hypothesis is represented like this and already we know capital D is equal uh, represent a capital D is a set of all the desired target values and desired target every desired target value is combination of this f of x i plus e of i e of i already we know noise and f of x i is noise free target function and by this here whatever the function we are specifying noise free target function is representing it as an output of hypothesis then maximum likelihood hypothesis is represented with the considering the normally distribution normally distribution and this is the formula with the normal distributions with the standard deviation of alpha and with the manual value mu this is the formula for maximum likelihood hypothesis and here we are replacing the mean value with the target value of hypothesis that is with the h of xi and also to get the maximum likelihood hypothesis some of the constants we are removing from this formula see whatever the formula for this through the normal distribution and this is the formula for the maximum likelihood hypothesis with the minimum squared error in this this first term is uh, first term is a constant it is independent of the hypothesis that's why we are removing that one and we are writing the maximum likelihood hypothesis formula without this notation without with this first term and we are writing like this and to get that one to get the minimum squared error we need to maximize the quantity negative maximize the negative quantity that means we are maximizing the negative quantity means minimizing the squared error that's why we are uh, removing this minus value and we are writing the maximum likelihood hypothesis is by this formula within this also 1 by 2 uh, alpha uh, 1 by 2 alpha square is also acting as a constant so that is also if we are discard this constant also then we will get the maximum likelihood hypothesis with this formula so within this di is the whatever we said target 
desired target value and h of x is the target value of that particular hypothesis if it is a minimized one which is having the minimized square and that hypothesis we can call as a maximum likelihood hypothesis so with these assumptions with the normal distribution and uh, all the hypothesis are having the equal probability and whatever the training data we are considering that is with the um, that is random with whatever the instance chosen is randomly chosen one with the normal distribution and whatever the training data is the that is with the some noise of with ei then whatever the hypothesis we are getting that is we can call as a maximum likelihood hypothesis and here one more thing we are considering maximum likelihood hypothesis for predicting the probabilities so to predict the probabilities for the learning here maximum likelihood hypothesis to get that one to predict the probabilities we need to find out the f p of d by h with this formula within this p of x i is instance d i by h is uh, the desired output over the hypothesis desired output over the hypothesis the probability of encountering any particular instance of x i is independent of the hypothesis and what are the formula is there that we are writing and we are repli <coughs> replacing this formula with this P of di by h i of x i and p of x i and p of di by h with uh, for the single instance is whenever di is equal to if di is equal to one that target uh, desired target value is one means it is equals to the target value of hypothesis otherwise it is equals to the one minus target value one minus target value of hypothesis that is represented with this we are substituting that one with the within this formula with the h of x and this is the formula we are getting within this also to get maximum likelihood hypothesis we are writing this whatever the p of d by h and we are replacing that one we are writing this one as a formula within that also last term this whatever the term is there this is a constant and it also independent of it also independent of hypothesis p of x i probability of that independent that instance is independent of hypothesis that's why we are discarding that one and we are getting this formula within this also this we can considering as a maximum likelihood hypothesis maximum likelihood hypothesis predicting probabilities predicting with the probabilities by this i am concluding this video we will meet in the next video